Trump book publisher allowing early sales due to high demand. The publisher of an explosive new book about President Trump's first year in the White House is allowing sales to begin early due to high demand. CNN reports Henry Holt & Company, the publisher of journalist Michael Wolff's book Fire & Fury, inside the Trump White House, is allowing several retailers to begin selling the book on Friday, four days earlier than its original publication date. Due to unprecedented demand, we are moving the on-sale date for all formats of Fire and Fury, by Michael Wolff, to Friday, January 5th, at 9 a.m. ET, from the current on-sale date of Tuesday, January 9th, a spokesperson for Henry Holt told CNN on Thursday. Following the announcement that the book would be released early, Wolff took to Twitter to thank President Trump. The Wall Street Journal reported that multiple booksellers have seen increased interest in the book. We saw a huge spike in demand yesterday, Terry Finley, chief executive of Books A Million, told the journal. President Trump's attack absolutely stirred interest. Finley told the journal that the bookseller received a large spike in online pre-orders, but declined to say how many copies were purchased. The Washington Post reported Thursday that Trump's attorneys have sent a cease and desist letter to Henry Holt, demanding they not publish the book and apologize to Trump. Several excerpts from the bombshell book, the first of its kind on the early days of Trump's White House have been published in recent days. The book contains numerous surprising allegations, including that Rupert Murdoch, co-chairman of 21st Century Fox, once called Trump a f-dashing idiot. The excerpts have also led to a feud between Trump and former White House chief strategist Stephen Bannon after Bannon offered pointed criticism of Trump and his family in the book. In one excerpt, Bannon described the 2016 meeting between Donald Trump Jr. and a group of Russians as treasonous and unpatriotic. He also said there was zero chance that the president was not aware of the meeting. After the excerpts were released, Trump